the kids get ready to head back to school, parents have so much to think about from registration to back to school shopping that it's hard to remember to also focus on your child's health. Joining us today is Dr. Alex Adams with the UW Pediatric Fitness Clinic to highlight some things that you may not think about as parents mm -hmm. that can really cause weight gain in kids. What's the first thing that you think of this time of year? So this time of year, I think kids are transitioning towards a new schedule, or they will be in a couple of weeks. And part of that is getting used to um, how do you get up early in the morning again when you've been sleeping in, especially for teenagers sleeping in until 11 or 12 or 1 o'clock in the oh, afternoon. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Hearing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're staying up till 2 and 3, and that's really a problem. Um, decreasing screen time because they've been used to doing you know, too much screen time over the summer and trying to get those levels back down to less than two hours a day is really important as they transition back. So parents need to hear that less than two hours a day. Yep, and if you important. don't have enough sleep, it will cause and or could cause it weight, weight gain. gain. Yes, there, there's increasing evidence from the research that we find that sleep actually really produces um, Im important factors that are beneficial for reducing weight gain. And one of them is some of the hormones that you don't think about actually increase if you don't get enough sleep. And so those hormones cause appetite increase and people will, will eat more. They will also eat more just to stay alert. Moving your jaw oh, and yeah. chewing helps you stay alert. So a lot of kids are up on those games all night on their computers and they're chew you know, chewing all the time, munching things. Let me ask you, because I remember getting <laughs> less sleep when I was younger than I do now. Right. Do they need, I think I got six hours. Right, are kids you need at least eight hours eight. of sleep. And you know, some of the little kids need more like nine. And then as they reach teenagers, they tend to get less and less but they're still needing eight or nine hours a night. Do you see stress when we look at kids and think oh wouldn't it be great to be young again? Do you see stress as an I impact? I think stress is a big factor you know especially mm -hmm. kids that are already struggling with their weight going back to school can be a really stressful time because if they've been teased or bullied that's a hard thing or just just tra transitioning kids transitioning to middle school from elementary school or first time in kindergarten or going to high school. Those are stressful times for kids and that can certainly trigger weight gain. Now how do parents figure out whether their kids are stressed. I mean, if that's something they may not think about. Maybe we're planting the seed, but how do you figure that out? So I think um, kids that do things differently than they used to do, so if they're more withdrawn, if they're spending more time in their room or more time on the computer or Xbox or other kinds of things, or just not talking to you as much, those are sort of signals of stress. Um, teenagers, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah. And sometimes it takes, you know, a sort of a third party to say something's going on here with your kid. Okay, but. so we've got sleep, we've got uh, less time in front of the TV or the games. Yeah, so, so the screen time. The screen time, and then we've got stress. stress. Any other things that parents might not be thinking about? So I think some other things that I see a lot in our clinic that we don't really often think about is kids that have sensory issues. I see a lot of kids who have difficulty with trying vegetables and trying different kinds of foods who really have a lot of oral aversion to those foods. They may be normal in other ways, but they just, they don't like textures of foods or they don't like tastes. And so trying to help them figure out how to get beyond that into tasting new things is a really important thing. And you find that sometimes with vegetables or the things that you would, right. would be wanting children right, to eat Right, exactly. More so it's one thing to say eat more vegetables, but if they really don't know what to do with them or when they eat them, they feel like they're just not used to those flavors. So sometimes it's introducing them slowly or in different ways so that they get used to the taste first and then the texture. And different ways would be like uh, shredding a vegetable or blending it in something? I mean, right. Are we talking yep. about that? Okay. That kind of way. The other thing is just to have kids really just experience the food so that they're helping cut it they're putting it on their plate maybe they're not even eating it the first few times they're just touching it and feeling it and tasting it and then oh. as they get sort of more used to it they can think about taking bites of it so and the more you can make it kind of fun and they can be engaged with it then the better that they do yeah. getting used to food you see sometimes different shapes or fun exactly. ways that people yep. can and make little that kids food. respond very well to funny names of things Oh, very good. So, you All know, right. Broccoli trees and funny names. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Alex, thank you so much. We really Welcome. appreciate yeah. it and know that you have a lot more information. So if you're looking for more information on how to deal with weight issues with your kids, you, you'll want to contact the UWP after fitness program and we'll have a link on our web channel. David has a final look at the forecast when we come back.